today here on blue shift ministries we're going to talk about flora and fauna i want to go deeper into this we have to be careful when it comes to flora and fauna flowers sometimes someone buys you a bouquet of flowers even if they're plastic someone uh, purchased you a, a tree and i love trees trees are great however we have to be careful with the flora and fauna the flora and the fauna has to do with the essence of the air and we all know who's the prince of the air or used to be the prince of the air there's a lot of manipulation when it comes to the flora and fauna sometimes when you see the blossoms and it's quite beautiful to see the blossoms flow throughout the air yes however when they give their scents there is an aroma which flowers have a beautiful aroma but we cannot forget who used to be the prince of the air and in many ways still is there's a lot of hypnotic suggestions in that flora and in that fauna. There is a lot of hypnotic suggestions in that aroma. We have to be careful with that. Remember in the Garden of Eden, how did the enemy enter the garden? He was a snake upon the tree. The tree is part of the flora and fauna. He slipped in with the flora and fauna. Now, we must practice discernment. That's how we prevent these things. We have to be very careful. I love nature. I enjoy camping. Anyone who's been camping, oh boy, you, you more than likely you're someone who enjoys their peace and quiet. I, I, I absolutely do. I love hearing the obedience, the, the ambient sound of the waves at the beach. It's just music to my ears. These things are beautiful and they should be appreciated because Father Jehovah Jireh created these things with Mother Nature. Well, is mother nature created these things in nature we should not even say that mother nature i repent for even saying that if that was wrong nature is nature nature is beautiful father created all the creatures of nature the animals the plant life flowers all these things yes but we cannot forget who used to be the prince of the air and who still uses these things to manipulate things of today there were many rituals in folklore. And remember, as I've stated before on this channel, folklore, to every myth there is truth, and to every folklore there is legend. Many times flowers were known as bells, and they make certain sounds. Sounds. We have to be careful with those sounds. It's a flower. How can a flower make a bell of a sound? So there's a lot of manipulation of flora and fauna and what Lucifer and his principalities always like to either anticipate, provoke, manipulate, use seduction, hypnotism. There's a lot of hypnotism in flora and fauna. We must always question the spirit. We have to have a very powerful level of discernment because these things and fathers, God's green earth should be appreciated with mother nature, nature. I just, I'm just so used to saying mother nature, but I'm I, we all know who sits on the throne, Jehovah Jireh, nature. But we must be very careful with flora and fauna. Flowers are beautiful. If you have a garden, if you have crops, livestock, a farm, always apply the blood of Jesus. I apply the blood of Jesus to my cows. I apply the blood of Jesus to these cows. I apply the blood of Jesus to my garden. I apply the blood of Jesus. Always apply the blood of Jesus. Have the blood of Jesus. Bless your garden. Have the blood of Jesus. Bless your livestock. Have the blood of Jesus. Bless your farm. Have the blood of Jesus. Bless the air. Because the air we breathe cannot be trusted. Yes, the air we breathe has to be filtered. Has to be cleansed. With the blood of Jesus Christ, Son of David, Amen. Always remember who you serve. We serve a God who never dies and always rise from the kingdom of the Most High. We must fast, repent, always be obedient, and bloodline cleanse. Believe in Jesus always. Amen.